And okay, we finally have our parts uh, for our mixer. So uh, we will be uh, looking here at uh, inserting our op amp and so forth into our channel. And we'll go ahead here and get the camera placed. Uh, see if we can get in position here. Let's move the camera around just a bit here where we can we can actually hopefully get into the shot here of where our op amp uh, will be placed here. Try to get this into the shot here as well. Uh, this is our op amp and our two surface mount resistors uh, that we'll actually be placing right here. And we'll go ahead and start uh, with our surface mount resistors. And here's our strip of surface mount resistors. Um, Right here, see if I could position position the camera just a little bit closer, maybe. Um, we can zoom in. Get a little better image here. See if we can actually actually get a better view. And looks like looks like we're doing good there. Okay. Uh, let's go back over again. Right here is where our op amp will be placed and our two surface mount resistors. Our surface mount resistors in our strip here. So let's go ahead here and, and get one out. And actually I just dumped one out onto the table here. And we'll go ahead here and just kind of pick it up here and kind of place it right onto the board here and take our pick right here and just kind of move it around in position and we'll get this in try to get it as straight as possible not really too important to have it too awfully straight but I like to try to get it as straight as possible let's try to get this into the shot here as much as possible. Um, again here's the surface mount resistor that I just put in place here and we've got it pretty well straight and what we will try to do here is we will try to apply just a little bit of solder um, a little bit of solder on our tip and we'll take our flat pick and kind of hold the resistor down just a little bit and tack a little solder just right on the side of it and that should tack ourselves down and we will hit just a little dot of solder on that side and go back over here and touch this side and reattack that side again and we are there and so we have our first surface mount resistor in place we'll try not to dump this one on the table here we'll peel this back here and let's see if I could just get this one just to to dump out on the on the board and there we go we got it to dump out on the board for us there and right here is our resistor 
Let's go ahead and slide it in place onto our pads and that looks fairly good. We'll go ahead here and kind of even up this side. Try to get it as straight as possible there. That looks good. Once again, we'll clean, clean our soldering tip. And that will get me some, just a little dot of solder on my tip. So I will take the flat portion of my pick. Again, kind of hold down the resistor. Try not to move the resistor as I just did. Try to reposition it back. And reposition. There we go. I'll try to hold it down here with a little flat portion of the pick. A little bit harder to do than than you would imagine. Again, these were the resistors that were replaced with the through hole components. I guess you could see right now why someone didn't want to attack the surface mount resistors. But we'll solder on that side now, re-solder that side, and reheat that side and let it flow. And we are done with our two surface mount components, our two 10 ohm resistors. All right, we'll move our board a little closer here. This is our position. These two pads here are actually not used. Uh, if you'll look here in the previous, in the other op amp circuit, uh, pin one indication right there, a little indicator on the uh, on the op amp. Okay, so we will get our place our op amp onto the board. This little dot indicates, little square indicates pin one. So let's get our op amp in place. And we'll slide our op amp forward just a little bit, kind of center it up on the pads. And it's a little task to kind of get these lined up here on, onto our pads. And that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, that looks, looks doable. And what we will do, we'll tack a little bit of solder on one side. We'll get, once again clean our tip. And I will apply a little bit of solder to the tip of the iron. Uh, I'm just going to hold this one down, finger here a little bit, and make sure that we are positioned. And looks like I need to move a little bit there. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to hold this down, finger here. And just going to attach one pin here and attach kind of one pin there. Um, just to kind of hold it down. And on our other side here, we'll just take a clean tip once again. And we'll just attack a little bit of solder there. A little bit on each leg here. And we're going to go back with the wick a little bit and pick some of this up. We're basically just kind of flooding the pins. So we're not worried about bridging them at the moment. We're just kind of doing a little flood um, to ensure that they're all kind of soldered. And we'll go back with our wick and pick our bridge up. Pick our bridge up over here and it looks like we're there uh we'll kind of just kind of give this a, a little inspection here uh, kind of zoom in let you see what we've done here 
try to get the resistors here in the shot as well. And if I could get everything here in the shot. We'll kind of zoom in once again. Here's our two our two resistors and they are soldered in place and what we can do is take a little bit of solder wick here and just kind of neaten up the little ball that's on them not really necessary but you know it just kind of makes for a neater job uh, just kind of kind of neaten up any kind of Just quickly touch it there and that'll kind of just neaten it up there just a little bit and make it look a little bit more presentable. And let's be let's look at our op amp. Here's our op amp that we just soldered in. No bridges, no bridges, everything looks good. Pin one is in the correct orientation and everything looks good we've cleaned cleaned the previously all the components out and checked it uh, so yeah looks uh, looks like everything's going there looks like it's all all there and uh, I'll be uh, putting a little bit of uh, flux remover uh, here and just kind of cleaning this up it's actually actually doesn't hurt this is a Rawls and core solder. So I'll be back here in just a second and look that over. And what we'll do here now with uh, we'll put just a little bit of uh, flux remover here on our Q tip. And what we will be doing here is just kind of cleaning up any any flux off of the pins here. And you'll see that it's collecting on the Q-tip here. And we'll do our resistors the same way. We're just kind of lifting up any flux that we may have gotten on the board and around this capacitor. It's a through hole component that's on the previous side. And we'll take the dry side of the Q tip here, flip it over here, and clean it right up. Just kind of blot it on there and kind of pick up any, any flux 